welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy Reed, and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I um, realized that I had not done a cloud pour in a little bit, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm super excited. I've been doing some other um, techniques lately, having some fun, and um, I love cloud pours. They're my they're one of my favorites, so I thought I would do another one. And I'm using, um, I haven't used this cup before. It is my cloud pour cup, but it is my three chamber one. So I think I finally have them listed uh, on my Etsy shop. Um, so if you're interested, the link is in the description for those. And I'm using my cloud mix. It's a little bit different. Um, I mixed it up with regular pouring medium, which is Floetrol, um, and Liquitex pouring medium with a little um, GAC 800. Um, and then I've got my Bayer Satin Enamel and my Vallejo Pearl Medium. I'll put the recipe in the description for you guys, because um, I know you're probably interested in that, and uh, it'll be down there so you can just copy it if you would like. So, my colors, only got a few. I'm super excited about them, they're super pretty. I've got uh, the Fine Touch Teal, and I wanted to lighten it up just a bit. You can kind of see um, the difference there. And then this is um, also from Vallejo, and it's teal, and it's the um, Fluid Acrylics. And then I've got a really pretty dark blue. It's one of my favorite blues from Soho, Urban Artist, it's mineral blue. And then I'm using Dioxazine Purple from Liquitex Basics. I wasn't actually going to use that one. Um, I didn't have the purple and then I decided to add it, so we'll see. Um, and the last color, I don't have my jar and it is uh, from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics and it's silver and I don't use a lot of silver, so I'm stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit with the silver. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens, and um, it should be fun because I always love cloud pours anyway. Um, so for those of you that are new to acrylic pouring, one of the things that is super, super important is to make sure that your canvas is level. Always make sure it's level. When I first started, I had several paintings that I ruined because the paint moved off when I thought my canvas was level. So I've got my canvas levelers, whoops, underneath. You can see that. Um, yeah, this real quick. These are adjustable. I've got them covered. I've used these quite a few times. I've got them covered with um, Glad Press and Seal, but you can see that they're adjustable and you can just set your canvas right on top see I used them and they're still a little wet from the last time but super easy you just put your canvas on the levelers and um, then you just take your level and check it out this looks pretty good I don't really have any adjustments to do I mean I already pre I had pre leveled it already but if if you need to adjust it you just reach right under there and you can turn it and it works really really good and then you don't have to worry about it so there's that and those are also available on my Etsy shop so you can check those out as well I wish I would have had those um, years ago when I first started <laughs> um, and that's one of the reasons I created them I do have ones that attach as well um, and they're super cool so you can pick if you want to attach them or you don't all right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in and get started, and I'm only putting my cloud mix um, on the one side. So I have an order already set of how I wanna do it, so I have to remember <laughs> because sometimes I get a set order and then I forget. So I'm gonna put the white on this, this side here. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna put the white on this side, and then I'm just gonna fill it in each there's two compartments in the front, so you can really put however much um, cloud mix that you would like in the chamber. You can use one chamber, or you can use two chambers. In this case, I'm only using the one. 
Um, but that's up to you, and uh, you know, you can super easy. If you want a ton of salads, you can do both. And each side holds two tablespoons of the cloud mix. All right, so I'm gonna put the um, purple, the dioxazine purple, in this other chamber. Now, you don't have to do that. You can leave it empty if you would like as well. So it's up to you. I love this cup. You can just use it in so many different ways. All right, and then now I'm just gonna put the silver on this side. So what I'm kind of hoping is that the silver kind of reacts with the, uh, the blue and the purple because I'm gonna put blue in the larger chamber. Um, so we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what's gonna happen. Like I said, I don't normally use silver. I'm more of a gold, bronze, or even copper person. Um, so uh, my fingers crossed that um, I have some good luck with it. Oh my gosh, this is like the perfect amount for this. That's totally um, luck. I could say I did that on purpose, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn this and put it this way. And usually I just fill right to the bottom of the spout in my cloud pour cups. Um, well, in any of my cups, and that's where the measurement is. So when I say it's a 10 ounce cup or a six ounce cup, that's where the measurement goes to. I mean, you can fill it full and get and get more, obviously, but that's how I do mine because I like to have a little bit of room so there's not a bunch of overflow. Um, all right, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Got it all in there. And um, uh, we're good to go. Here we go, guys.
right guys, here we go with the dried photos and I love it. I really, really love these colors. They are super, super pretty. I love how that purple came up through the clouds and I was really unsure about the silver because you know, it's just one of those colors that I don't use a lot. Um, but again, I'm super happy with it. I think it turned out really, really good. I think this cloud pour is a success. And um, I would love to hear what you guys think, so leave me a comment below. And don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. And of course, one way to help me out uh, is to share this video. So if you could share it with someone, that would be great. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys are having trouble with your cloud pours, I really suggest you check out my cloud pour cup. It was specifically designed for cloud pours to help people to achieve a technique that they may be having trouble with or just to make it a little bit easier um, for you guys as well. So if you're interested, you can search acrylicpouringtools.com or you can click the link in my description, whichever one is easier, and it'll take you right to my Etsy shop. All right, guys, I do hope you enjoyed my video today and I have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well and I will catch you in the next one.